all internal combustion engines create emissions. Emissions are the result of burning fossil fuels, and there's no way around it. But all engine manufacturers are making huge strides in minimizing the amount of harmful pollutants that are released into the environment. When it comes to reducing these emissions, there are two very different approaches. The first is exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR for short. Since exhaust gas contains no oxygen, it does not burn. This reduces emissions, but ultimately reduces overall engine efficiencies. EGR requires a large cooling system and emission components to the engine. The additional engine components include an EGR valve, EGR cooler, and associated plumbing. New engines will need to recirculate about 30% of the exhaust gas back into the engine. Since the exhaust is hot coming out of the engine, it must be cooled in order to be effective at reducing emissions. The EGR cooler transfers the heat from the exhaust into the cooling system. EGR systems also add a diesel oxidation catalyst to interact with the diesel fuel to oxidize the pollutants before they exit the system. EGR reduces NOx, but does not eliminate the particulate matter from the exhaust. A particulate filter must be used to trap these pollutants. Like all filters, the particulate filter will become plugged and create excessive back pressure. To reduce this back pressure, Diesel fuel is injected and monitored in the exhaust system to produce an extreme amount of heat, up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, to burn the trapped particulate material. This is called regeneration. The only benefit to EGR is that it doesn't require a secondary fluid known as diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. But there are several drawbacks to EGR and the exhaust filter. As previously mentioned, there is a huge amount of heat. Heat transferred into the cooling system from the EGR cooler and from the regeneration process. During regeneration, the temperature in the exhaust system can get incredibly hot, up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. An EGR engine will have shorter oil change intervals as a result of drawing dirty exhaust gas back into the engine. Additionally, exhaust gas contains carbon. Carbon is abrasive and hard on the internal components of the engine. The second approach, and alternative to EGR, is Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR. SCR uses diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, and is composed of a DEF injector, a DEF supply module, and a DEF supply tank. DEF is a safe, stable, non-toxic liquid that converts NOx into a harmless mix of nitrogen vapor and water. This chemical reaction takes place in the Case IH-designed SCR chamber. All you have to do is add DEF every other time you add fuel. The SCR chamber never requires service since it is not a filter. SCR is a much simpler process compared to EGR. It enables Case IH engineers to tune the engine for maximum performance without any sacrifices. This is because the pollutants are reduced in the exhaust system after the combustion process. SCR offers better fuel efficiency. In fact, one gallon of DEF will save you over two gallons of diesel. Eliminating the need to recirculate exhaust gases back into the engine allows SCR to have longer service intervals. Because the engine operates cleaner and offers greater reliability when compared to EGR. Case IH chose SCR because it is the best solution for engines over 100 horsepower. Worldwide, 9 out of 10 diesel engine manufacturers agree. SCR operates at cooler temperatures, SCR increases the engine's reliability, and SCR consumes less fuel, thus improving your bottom line.